want to come back to the question you asked me this morning. Who's my pick to win the finals? I really think you know the answer to that question. Oh, you oh, know my answer. Oh, oh, I think I do, but I want to hear you say it out loud. I think now that he's won the conference finals, the one is carrying it all the way to the finish line and will win the championship. Look, I don't disagree that his performance has been noteworthy. Noteworthy? Yeah. That's noteworthy. very diplomatic of you. There is a chance, a slim chance, that it, he can get it done, but I'm not ready to commit to a prediction yet. That's fine. It's even fair. I'll make sure to remind you of that when you predict, when you come back in a few months talking about that was your prediction all along. <laughs> we'll see then. Um, without a crystal ball, Stephen A., I just don't know yet. We'll see. Well, I'm making my prediction now. He's winning the finals. And then there were two. Time to kick off the NBA Finals here on EA Sports. Game one, just about set to go. We are at United Center in the Windy City. Tonight, the Chicago Bulls taking on the back-to-back -back defending NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at your former team, the Bulls, coming into play. They're rested. They're ready to go. And they'll have home court advantage to begin here in games one and two. And I'll tell you what. I am looking forward to this series right here. This is going to be a dogfight. We got a couple of teams that match up very well. I can see this one going to length. Yes, seven games. That's how even these teams are. Nothing going here on that drive. To Levine. From the outside, no good. To Durant. Wide open look, won't go. It didn't hurt him this time. But defensively, you got to prevent him from even catching the ball to begin with. And the finish on the nice step through. You see, here's why versatility is so imperative for your offensive repertoire. If you're a one-trick pony as a defender, I know exactly how to defend you because you only do one thing. But if you have versatility, then the coach can put you in multiple looks within the offense, and you can get it any way you want. Wendell Carter powers it through. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Warriors have the basketball. Curry, pass to Cousins, down low. Old school, backs his man down for the basket. 6'11", 270, that's a massive man. You can make a case there's nobody like him. There isn't anybody like him in the NBA. He is an absolute bully on the block. Can burrow his way through traffic, make it easy, and also possesses that sweet shooting touch from the outside. Durant with the basketball up top. They trail by one. Thompson to Durant. Short jumper off the mark. To Zach Levine. Zach Levine doing what he does best. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Durant across the timeline. Down three. Driving right to the basket. Ah, Kevin Durant. Two or four now. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Oh, nice find for the basket. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Here comes the screen. Curry to Durant. Shot from the lane, won't go. What happened is he didn't balance himself off the defender. He didn't initiate contact. He allowed the contact to initiate him. We could break that down later in the broadcast, but that's why he missed that easy chip. Throws it down. An easy two, get back on defense. To Levine. Oh, he had him there for a second. The drive, right to the basket. 
it goes down. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Looking for his man, flushes down the slam. Jay, that's a strong connection. And it's always about the play before the play. Look how the eyesight was able to connect between two players. We call that an eyesight contract. Because when you have a contract that's signed, sealed, and then delivered like that, that's how great plays are made. Curry with the ball. Great feed. Sets it up. Shot by Thompson. No good. I can't believe he missed that. But look, you have to stay connected to him defensively or he'll eat you alive turns and slams it down this type of game needs to be celebrated this is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players when you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great that's the difference between winning and losing so when you see these guys smiling when you see them giving each other high fives that's because of the energy that was created from the pass pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game now the Warriors going to call a timeout as they'll go over some tactics now in this game. Nothing going here on that drive. Levine. And he hits. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Deep left corner. Short jumper stays out. To Zach Levine. Got it. And that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Curry into the front court. The deficit now up to five. Right down Broadway, 4-2. How do you neutralize a threat like Kevin Durant? Well, that weak side defender constantly has to shade Kevin Durant. And that primary defender, you have to funnel KD into help every single possession, contest shots, and hope that you can deter his vision and that he misses. Free throw good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Here's Curry with it up top. Looking to make something happen. Nice pass to set things up. And when the ball gets the defense rotating from side to side, you're bound to find opportunities for each other. Oh, leaves the defender in the dust. To Levine for three. And Zach Levine, tough make that time. But you can't fault the defender as he hits the three. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this teams that fall in love with a three-point shot as quickly as they built the lead is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. Big slam. Oh, he looked like he was on a mission. I'll tell you what. It's impressive to watch a young player this new to the NBA not be afraid to drive to the basket. It goes a long way in establishing your presence in the league. Cousins to Durant. Driving right to the basket. And Jay, they call. He cruises in for two. Too easy. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. To Sean Livingston. To Curry. Five to shoot for Golden State. Beyond the arc for three. Livingston can't get that one to go. Defense was all over him. To Zach Levine. Carter. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To Thompson. Hey, hey. 
Down to five on the 24th. Has a chance. Deep two there, won't go. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State, but this game's in the balance, and time is of the essence. Now here's an intentional foul. So free throws coming up in what is an eight-point ball game. Smart play. You have fouls to use. Good way to manage the clock without burning the timeout. And hits the first free throw. So he hits the first, misses the second. And there's the foul. Going to play this one out, even though it seems all but over in a nine-point game. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. And he connects on the first free throw. And gets both to drop at the line. Now the Warriors going to call a timeout. They're down big in this fourth quarter. And a chance here to empty their bench. Carter comes away with it. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, this team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whoop, that's a scary thing to watch. One free throw up and good. The lead now 14. Curry with the basketball. Gonna run the offense. He's had a good shooting performance, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Yeah, no one else pretty much helped out. As a coach, I would be irate that nobody helped pick up the slack. Look, one man can never be five. Thompson. That misses with three seconds left. The Bulls take this one. They've won their 17th NBA title, tying them with the Celtics for the most by one franchise in NBA history. The Bulls. All and that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.